the digital SAP comes with a ton of new tools to help you solve problems more quickly and efficiently, but there is one tool that I personally don't recommend you use. Apologies for the, the poor lighting and quality here. I'm using my webcam because I was editing this video. I was getting ready to publish it and all of a sudden everything changed. So what I was going to make a video on was how flawed the annotation system is in Blue Book and how I don't think it's really that helpful. I'll show you what I was making and then I'll show you why I'm gonna to have to change the video here. I am talking about the annotate tool. Right off the bat, I click this and you can see there's an issue. It says make a selection first. There's no option to click on the annotate tool and then choose what you want to annotate. You have to highlight first. And speaking of which, there's no way to quickly highlight. I would like to be able to grab this text, maybe press the space bar or something and then get an instant highlight. But in order to highlight, I need to click annotate after I choose the text. And then let's say I'm good. I want to highlight this. I don't want to write anything. So I click close, disappears. Not only do I need to grab the text and click annotate, but I also need to hit save. Otherwise it's going to disappear. And if I go back to the highlight and I add something, you know, this, and then I hit close, it's going to again, not save it. You have to hit the save button. All right, let's hit, let's hit save. And then it shows up. This text is the best, but you see it disappears almost instantly. And then the only way it comes back if, if I'm placing my cursor over the highlighted portion. There's a lot of issues with this system. And for that reason, I recommend simply writing your notes on the scratch paper that you've been provided. But in all reality, you're not going to have a ton that you actually need to note down now that you don't have long passages to deal with like you used to on the old SAT. That's my two cents. Completely subjective, completely my opinion, but I really do think that this particular tool needs an upgrade before it's actually useful. Anyway, so the reason I'm having to update this video is because as you can see, as of June 19th, which is the day it is when I'm recording this, they have indeed changed this tool. And I haven't really checked it out yet, so let's just check it out together right now and see if they've improved on the things that I was complaining about. Uh, so one of my issues was that you can't just highlight stuff. So it looks like they did fix that. That's fantastic. Um, actually, here's the only thing. I, I forgot to show you. I already clicked this button. If this is not clicked, nothing happens at all. So you have to turn it on, kind of like when you turn on the, uh, the wrong choice bit. But once it's turned on, it looks like you can indeed highlight and it's automatically going to highlight. Now, if I hit Command Z, is it going to unhighlight? No. So you'd have to just hit Delete Highlight in case you accidentally highlight. And look, you can have different color highlights. So that's pretty cool. And then if you want to add a note. So my, my other big issue was that if you add a note, it doesn't get saved automatically. And look, it says notes are saved automatically. It's like they were reading my mind. This is amazing. Um, I love this text. And then the other issue where you have to hover over what you um, highlighted, nope, that's not an issue either. It actually just keeps it there on the side. So I take, I take back everything I said about this tool. It looks like they fixed it just now. And I think this is actually pretty great. Yeah. So uh, good job, College Board, Blue Book. Um, Somebody else must have been complaining about this tool because it looks like you went ahead and fixed it, or maybe you just saw the flaws uh, on your own, but it looks like we got an update here. I think this new setup is definitely going to be a lot better than the old one, and it'll certainly help you save time while you're working through the English section. If you're looking for more ways to save time in the English section, go ahead and check out this video right here. should be hanging out right there for you to click.